Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're diving back into When Jamie's Heart. We're diving into episode four. Um, I just finished reacting to episode three and episode two. And yeah, we're just making our way through. Um, we left off with Jaime. Jaime, sorry. I ain't... When I'm not like focusing on it, I just instinctually jump into my American pronunciations of some, some of these names. Hi, Mace Hart. We're, we're, we're winning Hi, Mace Hart. Uh, but yes, we, where we left off, Hi, May and um, Winston were all cuddled up in bed. Um, and Winston was feeling some type of way. He was feeling a little tingle, a little heart palpitation, pound, pound, pound. And yeah, so we're going to dive in and see where things go. to be asleep <laughs> or not <laughs> so we, 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 we just don't pull a mini even more <laughs> it's like okay we're, we're, we're just not gonna we're not gonna deal with this we're just gonna lay here it's fine we can talk later. <laughs> Poor baby is suffocating. Please tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. Mm. Oh, he got he got a little too much in his sleep. Bitch. Oh, <laughs> you, there are no no subtlety in this show. <laughs> oh, come on, soundtrack. Ah. Sir, I need you to keep your feet on the ground. See now, he, 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 again, he knows what he's doing. He's out here playing games. Mm -hmm, but see, he's smiling back too. Okay. He's trying to fight off the games a little bit, but now he's like, fine, I'm going to lean into it. Right here at the breakfast table, in front of God and everybody, in front of my sausage, gymnastics. Okay, but I need this soundtrack though for my, for my life, child. Girl, don't act like you haven't seen it already, but the little speckle in her chest there. Hello, how you doing? And you got some on your shorts too, baby. Okay, um, So is anyone gonna start talking about the itinerary? Hi hey guys! Look? So we're about to go out and have some fun. At syempre, kasama pa rin natin ang ating lovebirds. I miss hard. 
Yeah, we can call them yeah, that, I suppose. So, na tayo nakita nilang sweet moments together. Have Talaga we? Talaga naman nagtitrending sa sweet at kilig. At ngayon, <laughs> dadagdagan pa natin yan. Kaya ano pa hinihintay nyo? Tara, samahan nyo kami! Let's go! How to win someone's heart. How to make someone fall in love with you. Ano nga ba dapat gawin para may in-love sa'yo ang taong gusto mo? You can't make people fall in love. Pakita mo sa mata mo. Once you have the chance to have eye-to-eye contact, siguraduhin mong ma-express ng mga mata mo na akin ka na lang. Sabayan mo nang Okay, but what I need you to stop doing is pretending to pursue heart over here like this. Like, I understand that we're kind of on a cam, like we're kind of filming this so the whole internet is watching this journey that we're going on right now, but I need you not to pretend like you're enjoying it so much with her, because I don't want her to get hurt in this, because she's already fragile right now. Keep the tension so that she's more excited, so that she's more excited to touch it. <laughs> so basically everything you're doing to heart while trying to seduce her best friend smile wink talk with your eyes that her happiness matters to you be attractive and intimate sabi sa research magsuot kang red to amp that sexiness para mas maging sexually desired. I'm more of a blue person myself. Show off your physical strength. Kahit anong paraan. Whether magbuhat ka ng gamit niya. O sa pagbuhat sa kanya sa likod mo. O kung kailangan kang magsibak ng kaway to show her. Na kaya mo siyang ikulong sa lakas ng mga bisig mo. Ferris wheel. So, ano mas sabi mo sa lovebirds natin? Hmm, lovebirds. Okay na naman. Bagay naman sila. Pero mas bagay pa rin kami ni Hanya. Okay, okay. Well, that's the end of the that's the end of this interview. Bye. <laughs> look over the camera and try to seduce him because that's what he does hi man hi okay Again, posts like this make me feel like she's just happy to have these two friends at her side. Guys, welcome to our live! I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you! So dance for you, dance for you! Ready? I like this shirt that um, Winston's wearing. They're having fun. It's cute. He's trying. They're having fun. That's the important thing. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, 
Girl, y'all, y'all aren't 12 years old at homecoming. Y'all been, y'all been here this whole damn weekend. I'm wondering if in any of their... Like, obviously, Winston's been, like, recording and, like, chaperoning them most of the time, but I'm wondering if any of their, like, moments when they've been off to the side and, like, when, like we had at the beginning of the scene, Winston was interviewing Jordan. I wonder if in any of those moments, um, Jaime has told her any semblance of the truth that he has an attraction to Winston and would like to just be friends. Because that would make life a lot easier, but the way that they, they're looking into each other's eyes right now and he grabbing her by the chin that makes me feel like maybe not and I'm just wishful thinking Why are you push, Jordan? Jordan, what what are you doing? Oh, Lord. See, I just, I just don't like the idea of heart being collateral damage in their potential romance or whatever. Why, okay, why why did Jordan need to turn this into a three way slow dance? for no other reason than to instigate this on camera. Shout. If I wasn't here watching this live stream, I wouldn't know if they're trying to make a three-way happen with her right now because nothing about this looks friendly. How to meet someone's heart. How to make someone hard to fall in love with you. I'm getting there. Or maybe I'm already there. Mm, baby, no. Nararamdaman ko that I'm starting to win her heart. But we... Do you... Pero ba't ganun? Mm -hmm. All I can see is him. So did you go into this contest? Shit. Wanting to win her heart? I'm falling in love with someone else. I'm so confused as to what your what your intentions were then. Did you, because I felt like it was fairly obvious the attraction you had to him before you embarked upon this um, competition. So are you saying you didn't embark upon this competition with the intent of? Wow in him. That looks as child. Wait till we get back to bed. Guys, y'all y'all still on camera. I'm assuming, because I didn't see anyone stop the camera. They just changed the song. Okay, I guess that's where we ended the episode. Okay, yes, now I just have general confusions about, um, about, yeah, about Jaime's, um, initial intent, because I've been watching the series so far with the, in, with the backstory in my head that Jaime has this attraction to Winston. And going into this, he's had this attraction. And just the way he's interacted with Winston this entire time has told me that he has had this attraction to Winston. But then that last scene, he's like, I can feel that I'm starting to win her heart. But, oh no, I'm falling for someone else. I'm like, what do you mean, oh no, you're falling for someone else? I thought that was... I thought that's where you've been since day one. I thought your eyes were on him since day one. Girl, why were you...
pressing your dick up against him in his bathroom talking about, can I use your toothbrush? Why were you pressing your dick up against his ass in your own apartment talking about, hey, maybe I can, maybe, are you going to pay me to whatever, my fine fear, whatever? Like, girl, why have you been so hot and ready? Like a little Caesar's pizza, ready for this man this whole entire time if you didn't already have the intent that you had an attraction to him. So now I'm confused. I'm confusion. Did he not have an attraction to him in the beginning? Did he not plan? Even if he didn't plan to go this far, did he not have some semblance of a plan to seduce Winston? Was that, was that not in the plan? Or was it supposed to all just be a game? Was it all supposed to be a game and he was love and feelings were not supposed to be involved? He just wanted to wham bam, thank you, ma'am. And now people's feelings are getting mixed up in the I don't know. I don't know. I'm very confused about what Jaime's intentions are or were at the beginning of this now. Um, but it makes me um almost not not like him a little bit more um or not like his potential intent like the more i find out the more i'm like i don't know what kind of game you're playing or what kind of person you are or were or whatever before you met with like i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know um but it's undeniable the attraction is there the attraction is there between he and winston winston's winston's been trying to fight it and hell even at the beginning of this episode when they're all cuddly cuddly winston's trying to escape and he's jaime's like mm -hmm. good morning where are you going and then at the breakfast tables literally gave him a foot job at the table practically and i'm like what what were your intentions if they were not to seduce Winston, what 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 were you planning? I don't know. Um, so like I was saying there in the middle, I don't mind the... I, I like the idea of them together because they're beautiful men. And if there's anything I like seeing on this channel, it's beautiful men doing gay shit. Um, so I like the idea of them together. They have chemistry. The attraction is there. I just hate the idea of it coming at the cost of heart's feelings. I hate I hate the idea of heart being collateral damage. And I've said that in so many other series that I've reacted to where it's like, um, I hate the idea of us kind of shipping these two characters together at the cost of this third character's feelings. Like, I mean, I get it. It happens in real life. It doesn't make it any better. I still hate it in real life too. Um, but like just if if you if you want to go for my best friend, fine. Just tell me you want to go for my best friend, and let let go. Um, if you're trying to seduce me and not her, then okay, fine. Let me know, and we can I can find somebody else for her. But like, don't get her, and like, don't get her at this point where it's like she's like, I think I or I'm almost falling in love with you, or maybe I have, and who knows? Maybe that voiceover wasn't aimed at Jaime. Maybe it was aimed at somebody else, and just again, Jaime and Winston's company is helping her get past that initial heartbreak. Or maybe she's still speaking that heartbreak into existence, like, oh, maybe I'm falling even deeper in love with that person who hurt me. Or maybe she's talking to Winston, like, hey, I got Winston up here. I'm gonna back it up on him while I'm, 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 I'm holding Jaime around the neck, but I'm gonna back it up on Winston. Yeah, I'll fall in love with you too. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't directed at Jaime. Who knows? But like, I, I hate the idea of her catching feelings for Jaime just to have Jaime and Winston start fucking around behind her back and then hurt her feelings. That's the only reservation I have about the potential place this series could go. Um, and I'm hoping that it doesn't go there. I'm hoping that like what I said before they started slow dancing or while they were slow dancing is fact. And he actually had a side conversation with Hart at some point and told her everything. And she's like, okay, I'm cool with this. I I just need a friend right now. And they're just in this very friend kind of place. That would be a best case scenario for me. I highly doubt that's what's going to happen, though. I, I don't foresee that being the case. Uh, but who knows? Maybe I could be terribly, terribly wrong, and that is what's going to happen. But Lord, messy, 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 messy. We're getting messy up in here. Um, we started off messy, but Lord, we're getting messier because now people's feelings are getting 
intertwined. People are catching feelings, and it, 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 it's, it's starting to get into uh, uh, messy, messy, messy. So yeah, I, I'm assuming that they stop, potentially stop recording or stopped going live because they were having a little dance party going live. We never, I never saw them like hit a stop button or, you know, indicate that we stopped going live other than the fact that they no longer showed like a little view counter saying, oh, this many people are watching. Um, but I have no reason otherwise to believe that they stopped recording. So if they did not stop going live, then the entire audience is just sitting there watch these two men sandwich this girl, but like maintaining this intense amount of eye contact with one another and practically like they, they were practically yeah she's sitting in the middle of these two but they were practically like just like lifted her up out of the way so that they could get to whatever action they want to get to between the two of them that that's pretty much what was happening spiritually between these two so the audience is sitting there watching if they had not stopped recording um which would make for a very interesting comment section um yeah, so I'm interested to see where we go in the next episode. So I'm going to stop talking so I can get to the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications to be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments. I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya. And before you guys go, I want to give a huge thank you to everyone supporting me over on Patreon. This channel would not be what it is today without your continued support, and I can't begin to thank you guys enough for all you've done for me. If you'd like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya!